In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the viewport display. By default in Blender, we see this simple gray material. While this is great for quickly modeling and it's not so hard on computer resources, sometimes we want to see what textures and colors we have on our models in Blender. Blender has four standard viewport display options. The default one is what we see here, and this is the viewport display. It is just gray. In order to change the viewport shading, we go to the top up here. So if I see these four circles, these four circles change the viewport display. We can go to wireframe, viewport shading, material preview, or render preview. I'll leave it at viewport display, zoom out a bit, and then I'll click on wireframe. Wireframe shows you all of the triangles and the polygons of the different meshes that you're looking at. This can be convenient to see what is happening in your scene and especially to select things behind. Viewport shading brings it back to the gray. Then material preview shows textures and some default lighting, but it does not show what the actual lights in your scene are doing. So this is useful just to kind of get a sense of what has textures and what doesn't, but it will not give you an accurate look of your scene. Then finally, we have Render Preview in Blender. This will do a calculation and actually render the scene. As you can see, this looks much different than Material Preview. When I move, Blender has to recalculate the scene to show what the textures will look like. So hopefully you're able to use Wireframe Shading, Viewport Shading, Material Preview, and Render Preview in Blender to see the different textures on your model. Happy 3D modeling.